guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post some videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So I'm back, same outfit, same day, but a different day that you're watching this. <laughs> so, yes. But I'm here to do my October book haul with you guys. And I didn't have that many, thankfully, but I do have enough if it makes sense so we're gonna get into this um i'm gonna start off with the ones that i personally purchased myself i did make several trips to barnes and nobles um because honestly october mentally for me um it wasn't hard but it was a little stressful and i find solace in barnes and nobles buying books that's just me um so i did pick up four books um the first two i got because my sis Steph talked about them so um, we have three by Ted Decker, which is classified as a horror. It's like a Christian horror. So um, she said it was a little spooky. I'm going to try it. I wanted to read it in October, but um, that didn't happen because October was a crazy month. Uh, but yeah, we have Ted Decker's three. I bought the mass market paperback. Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind mass market paperbacks. They don't bother me. I know a lot of people don't care for them, but I do. They're cute, compact, and fun to travel with. But um yeah i want to read a lot more of his work now i do have his ya series but um i want to read a lot more of his adult novels and i know that they have them on thrift books and book outlets so yeah we have this book and um i'm a little you know look at that that, that face there that look like blood that, that that's creepy um but it sounds insane so I'm, I'm gonna quickly read the back which my mother was even hooked on the back so it says three by all accounts, Kevin Parsons is leading a virtuous life, but like all people, Kevin has his secrets, and someone wants them revealed. While driving home from graduate school, Kevin receives a call from a deluded stranger who calls himself Slater. Slater demands that Kevin confesses his sin in the next three minutes or the car he's driving will be blown to pieces. That's all I read, and I was like, what? that's kind of like some like craziness so i'm excited to read this but i'm also a little, a little scared so this might be a book i read during the day yeah we won't leave it at that so we have three um and then i also have this book by terry blackstock i've seen so many books from this author so many people talk about her and steph talked about her so i have if i run this is book one in the if i run series um they had all three books but i decided to just get the first book to see if i like it um so yeah we have the first book and hopefully i like it enough to go pick up the other ones because the other ones do look nice and they were at barnes and nobles um this one includes discussion questions it says that casey knows the truth but it won't set her free um it talks about PTSD. There is a crime scene. Her DNA is all over a crime scene. So, yeah, I just, it sounds interesting. I don't want to know too much about it going in. I think when it comes to thrillers, suspense, and mysteries, I don't want to know too much. I want to know the basis of like the characters, what's, what's supposed to be happening, and that's it. So, all I know is that there's her DNA is all over a crime scene, and she has PTSD. No, PTSD has marked the person hired to find her that's it i'm gonna leave it there we have that um and then the last two books i also picked up are mass markets so i have this present darkness by frank e peretti and i have the ebook of this i've heard many people rave about this book um as like being a great christian fantasy so i have the mass market they had the mass market they had the paper like the full paperback size but i like the cover on this one better so i just went with it but um yeah we have this and uh it says christian suspense Ashton is just a typical small town, but when reporter Marshall Hogan and Pastor Hank B, because I can't pronounce that name, begin to compare notes, they suddenly find themselves fighting a hideous plot to subjugate the townspeople and eventually the entire race of the hu the, the entire human race. Excuse me. Um, a fast-moving, riveting thriller, this present darkness offers a fascinating glimpse into the unseen world of spiritual warfare and the power of prayer. I'm sold. So we got it. Um, and then lastly, this book has been on my want to read for forever forever i literally have like print i went on a i literally googled biblical fiction books to read and i found some website that had like a list um and i took that list i put them in a word document and printed them out and i have like this long list of books that i want to read that are like biblical fiction legit biblical fiction not like historical fiction retellings but biblical fiction and this is one of them um this was also turned into a mini series on lifetime which i haven't seen it yet i want to read the book first before i watch it but um it's the red tent by anita 
Diamonds. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but this is basically a retelling of the story of Dinah. And we know that Dinah is Jacob's only daughter, but she was a daughter that was raped by one of the, I think it was a prince or something from a different nation or whatever the case may be. And her brothers were furious and they told the men in order for the boy to marry his sister, they had to be circumcised. And when they were circumcised, they slaughtered all of them. Yeah. If you read the story, you know what I'm talking about. It's in the Bible. I can't remember the scripture off the top of my head. It's on the screen, but it's Dinah, um, the story of Dinah from uh, the Bible, and it's Jacob's daughter. So that's all I want to know about. That, that's all. So we have that. Okay. So those were the four books that I actually like purchased myself from Barnes and Nobles. So let's get into review books before i get into like the fictional books i'm gonna get into the non-fiction so i have two bible studies um actually these studies were sent to me months ago but i never printed them out i did them i never printed them out so i'm print i printed them out to share with you guys um we have a study in obadiah the minor prophet created by um Brioni. so we have this bible study here and this one i think is like 14 pages long it's not that long um it's really quick and simple and easy to do and then i also have another one which is on um philemon it's a pistol of the uh, an epistle of paul my language today my talking i apologize but um yeah philemon is only 24 verses so this one is 18 pages if i'm not mistaken but um it's some really really good stuff in it so i have these two and i've had them for a while but i just i forgot to actually print them out and share them with you all i've done them but i printed them out so that i could physically do them in a video soon for you all and then i have three more so this one is um walk run soar by Zarina gilmore young with sean young forwarded by ryan hall it's a 52 week running devotional now i did track for about six months um in high school and it was fun i enjoyed running but um i thought this would be interesting to read because we hear a lot in the bible about running the race and um staying in the race and things like that and i thought this would be an interesting one to uh read so it gives like practical tips for running and stuff like that and for triathlons and marathons and training schedules but they also relate it back to faith so um i'm not training for a marathon or anything like that but i thought it'd be a fun one to um really dive into and see how they compare it to um running in an actual marathon so we have this devotional and it's from bethany house the next one is also from bethany house and it's from jamie grace it's um finding quiet her journey to peace in an anxious world and i know who jamie grace is i follow her on youtube um and uh yeah i just i wanted to support number one and really just read her book i did get it from bethany house and um yeah it's all about anxiety her walk with god and things like that and it seems like it's going to be a really touching read and um yeah there was really no rhyme or reason outside of that for me to request it except that it had jamie grace on it so i'm being true cool so i got it and then the last one is from chosen and it's the art of thinking like god spiritual intelligence by chris Balatone. i'm probably saying it not that name wrong um but it is forwarded by a neurologist named karen garnas i i can't pronounce these names okay but it says you have the mind of christ and the spiritual capacity for brilliance there is an assessment tool in here um there are some questions in here i have not actually opened the book to oh that's pretty that is pretty okay so the end pages i really like the end pages are like clouds in the sky so pretty um it says let's see is this is this interactive y'all know i like it yep there are some questions in here to read and answer so we like that i don't know where the assessment is is it at the end probably yeah there's a spiritual intelligence quotient assessment towards the end so that's gonna be interesting um the title is what got my attention honestly so i requested it no other reason and it's from chosen so we're moving on now to my fiction books so the first two books um are in a series from brett armstrong and i received these for a blog tour that i did and this one is the novella it's succession the first is the prequel novella 0.5 to quest the fire right yeah quest the fire and then you have the actual first book which is called the gathering dark um which are both christian fantasies they're christian i want to say adult but i can't remember i think it's adult it probably is young adult though but um it's a christian fantasy series so exactly the age rank i'll put on the screen but it's christian fantasy it was fun when i read it you can click down below to check out my review of it but um we have that i love a good christian fantasy um this next book i know nothing about it was actually sent to me because i'm a part of a christian fiction um book 
group on Facebook and I, I forgot I had entered in for a free giveaway and I won. Um, so this one is a slowly developing story by Ch Cheyenne, Chen, Shane Lyle and Nancy. Oh, by Nancy and her. I love Nancy. I love her. Um, and it's part of the Mysteries of Lancaster County. It's a book from Guidepost. Um, which I know Guidepost has some really great books. So that's all that matters. It's a mystery. It's a Guidepost book. And Nancy Mahel is one of the authors. So I'm excited for this. Again, I know nothing about it. It just showed up at my doorstep because I won. So thank you again to um, the group. I think it's the Avid Christian Fiction Readers or something like that. Cannot remember the name of the Facebook group. I'll leave a link down below. But I won this book. Um, then because I helped out with Tessa Afshar's um, The Way Home Bible Study... I was a part of the launch team. They did send us a copy, a free copy of In the Field of Grace by Tessa Abshaw, which is her biblical fiction retelling of the story of Ruth. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is her fourth novel that she wrote. Her fourth novel that she wrote, her fourth Old Testament story, rather. And um, I own a copy. I read it. It was a five-star read. Um, so, of course, I will not be keeping this. I will be using this for a giveaway soon. So, we have that. These three books I have hauled separately in a video, but I'm hauling them again for November. I mean, for my October haul. Um, and it's by Barbara and Brighton. If you haven't seen the haul, click the eye to go to it. But um, we have Providence, Hannah's Journey, which is all about the story from 2 Kings chapter 5, where um, we have Naaman, who was the commander of the Assyrian army, who takes in one of the servant girls. Um, and the servant girl helps him come to faith, him and his entire household. So we have that. Um, we have Jerusalem Rising, which is Adder's Journey, which is all about the time when, um, Nehemiah had to go back to Jerusalem and rebuild the walls, and, um, Adder was one of the girls of, uh, there, there was a father who had two daughters, two or three daughters, who helped him rebuild the wall. It's in the Bible, it's in Nehemiah, I'll find it, put the scriptures on the screen, but we have that book. And then we have Lioness Mala's Journey by her, and it's the first book in her Daughters of Zelophad. I always say Zelophad, but I think I'm saying it wrong because I'm mispronouncing a letter or something like that. But um, it's the first book in that, and this is from the book of Numbers. Number 17, if I'm not mistaken, um, is where that scripture is. Um, and basically, the their father died. He didn't have any sons. He only had daughters, so they requested an inheritance. And um, God said that they were to be given that inheritance. So this is the first book in the Daughters of Zelophad series. And then these these two are books one and three in the tribes of israel i'm missing book two um so i will be getting her other books but we have those then we have the books from my um unboxing my double unboxing for the delilah box click the eye if you haven't seen that video but i got in my september box i got the red door in by liz johnson which is book one in the prince edward island dream so it's book one um contemporary romance and then i also got the biblical fiction book called mary magdalene by diana wallace taylor which is all about mary magdalene so these two came in my september box and then for the october box i got the sequel of the red door inn so this is book two it's called where two hearts meet it's book two in the prince edward island dreams i'm reading the sequel what it says but this is book two contemporary romance and then i also got the shepherd's wife by angela hunt which is book two in her jerusalem road series i had to look at the name of the series but um book one is the daughter of cana which i haven't read because i want to read her books in order so i'm i already read the uh dangerous beauty series or i think that's what the series is called don't remember the the series she has with esther Bathsheba and delilah i've read those already i'm currently in her silent years series i've only read judah's wife so i'm gonna go back to egypt's daughter or Egypt's sister, Egypt's sister, um, in December, I'm going to read through that series, so that next year I can finish up with this, but, um, we have that, and then two last books I have, both are from Rebel, um, this one is The Key to Love by Betsy St. Amant, um, and this is a contemporary romance, and I love this cover so much, and the food on the cover, like the bake, bakery food on the cover is gorgeous, and then we have this, which is a historical fiction. Um, and I was excited to get this because, one, it's a hardcover. And I don't get many Christian fiction hardcover books. But this is by Brian Litfin, Litfin, excuse me, And it's The Conqueror. It's the first book in the Constantine's Empire. Constantine's Empire. Um, and I'm definitely going to do a reading vlog for this, for sure. Um, so, yeah, it takes place in 8D, 309. Um, Rome, Constantine Army, Germanic Barbarians and spies anti-christian politics armies evil emperors we here for it um 
and it talks about Christ. Christ is not featured in it, of course, but it does talk about Christ, obviously. And I don't know if there's scripture involved. There does not seem to be scripture involved. It is just historical fiction. It is not biblical fiction. And um, it says, travel back to one of the most pivotal eras in history, a time when devotion to the pagan gods was fading and the Roman Empire was being conquered by the sign of the cross. So be here for it we love this i love this cover this, this book is just gorgeous i'm excited for this so um yeah that is it for my haul not so many books i'm doing pretty good my hauls have been real low-key um i am i've been saying for the past months that i'm gonna make a big haul soon i will be making a very very large haul from thrift books really soon <laughs> um because there are some books that i really want to get my hands on um i know that i definitely want to get all of my Lena dickerson's books Every single one of them. I want to get that a Christian fantasy. I definitely want to get her YA Christian fantasy series for the Hanging High books. I want to get books 1 through 8 because I don't own them. I have 9, 10, and 11. Um, and then she has an adult version of the sort of Christian fantasy fairy tale retellings that I want to get. And then she has a new book called Court of Swans, which I have an e-arc of. I will be reading that and doing a reading vlog for soon. But um, I want a physical copy when it comes out. So I have a lot of reading vlogs that I need to actually schedule. And figure that out because i gotta figure out when these books are due i might yeah, we just gonna leave it there so yeah that's it for this video if you want to review for any of these books let me know if you want a reading blog for any of these books let me know but um yeah that's it i'll see you guys in the next video bye